The march is a really great exercise for the deep core muscles. The setup for it looks like this. You're going to lay back and you're going to position yourself so that um, the first you're going to do this, you're going to arch your back a lot. So you see I have a lot of space there. And then you're going to push it in. So you're going to tilt your hips upwards. So you're going to push your back strongly into the ground. Then you're going to find somewhere in the middle. So a nice happy medium. Then what you're going to do is take your hands and make a diamond shape like this. Like that. And the heels of your palm are going to sit on your hip bones. And the two middle fingers are going to rest on your pubic bone. And what that's going to do is it's going to let you know that you're keeping your hips stable during the exercise, which is really important. Another way to think about it is this little diamond shape you've made is like a plate and on top of it is a cup of water and you don't want that cup of water to spill. You'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to place my hands there and I'm going to tip my hips just slightly so that my diamond is slightly tipped, not exaggerated, just slightly. That engages the core muscles. So that's going to be tipped. Then what I'm going to do, keeping this totally still, my hips still, I'm going to, I like to put my heels up, so I'm raising my toes, and I'm going to maintain this position. Then I'm going to raise a leg and then lower it. And the only thing I'm really thinking about is how do I keep my hips really, really still? How do I keep this plate with the imaginary cup of water on it from spilling? Okay. And then, the breathing for this, I'm going to exhale. Inhale on the lower, exhale, and inhale. Now, what will happen is if I lose control, if I lose the engagement here, my you'll see my plate starts to move around, right? My hands are moving around now, and this is what we don't want. So we got to find, and if that happens, it's fine. Just reset. Find your good, stable place in your pelvis, and then... So again, heels of the palm of the hands on the hip bones, middle finger on the pubic bone. And that will help you maintain a stable pelvis. Now, once you've nailed that and you've got that down and you're able to keep this all very stable while you're doing the exercise, you can make it a little more challenging by raising the legs up. And so here you'll notice I'm in a 90-90 position. You don't want your legs to come up this way. The minute you're knees come in, same as the last exercise, the minute your knees come in, you lose engagement in your core, and this is a core exercise, so we really want to make sure we're engaging that core. So same thing, you're going to take your diamond, place it on your hip bone and your pubic bone, keeping that 90 degree position, you flex, and I, I like to exhale all my air because it gets my ribs down, gets me in a good position. So now my lower back is strongly into the ground. And I want to keep it there. So I don't want any of this to raise up. So I don't want any daylight under my back. I can feel it staying pressed to the ground. And I want to keep it that way. And my plate. A lot to remember, I know. But it's totally worth it. It's going to work your core really nicely. Okay. 90 degrees. Now I'm going to lower. And then exhale when I come up. Inhale. And exhale. Exhale. Okay, same thing. This is a lot harder. I know it doesn't look like much, but when you give it a try, you'll see it's very, very challenging to keep everything still. I'm, I'm concentrating really hard right now. So once again, you don't want to lift your lower back up. You don't want your ribs to pop up, right? Keep everything nice and down. And don't bring those knees past your hips. Nice and controlled. And that's it.